Hello and welcome to this edition of MS YouTube Trypophobia Edition. But wait, what is trypophobia? Well, it's the fear of irregular patterns or clusters of holes. But I'm not an expert, so let's take a look. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, I am Dr. Bot, a PhD in clinical psychology, and I will be mystified trypophobia for you. As mentioned, Trypophobia is a fear or disgust of closely packed holes, protrusions, and repetitive patterns. This often results in irrational and compulsive fear, leading to neurovegetative symptoms that include sweating, nausea, increased heart rate and ventilation for many individuals. For the purposes of this video, let's also clarify the differences between fear, phobia, and anxiety as these are clinically very different. Fear is the emotional response to real or perceived imminent threat whereas anxiety is the anticipation of a future threat. Anxiety disorders differ from developmentally normative fear or anxiety by being excessive or persisting beyond developmentally appropriate periods. And phobias are anxiety disorders involving anxiety that is excessive or out of proportion to the object or situation. Whoa, that was so interesting. Yeah, we actually brought in three students to film their reactions to clusters of holes. Let's take a look. Okay. What do you see? Uh, tongue, but it has a lot of hair. Oh, now there's a strawberry. That's kind of strange. How does it make you feel? Alright. I actually have no I think this is like a honeycomb. I have no idea what this is. I, yeah, it's a... Oh, <laughs> that's disgusting. Ew. Yeah, that's nasty. It's like a hand. Oh. I don't know what this is. It looks like some type of flower, but it's like... Speak louder. It's like it's weird. But it's okay. And there's a bench that just like fine. That's cool. I like benches. You don't mind the bench? I don't mind the bench. bench. Which one which one was the grossest? Hand. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is a dog's tongue. Looks like it has spikes on it. It's pretty gross. Oh, the strappers. This one doesn't freak me out. <laughs> it just looks weird. This is just the cluster of holes. It doesn't really affect me. Okay, the hands are really gross. <laughs> this is disgusting. Uh, okay, the stuff with things in it, that's just disturbing. <laughs> Benches, whatever. Go. Oh my gosh. What do you see? <sighs> It's like a dog and like the tongue and it's just really nasty. Why is it nasty? I can't explain it. I just it's just nasty. Like I, I don't know. Like okay, can I just look at the next picture? Because yeah, yeah. Okay. Ugh. What's this one? It's not too bad, but it's like a strawberry and it's really close up, so I can see all the holes and it just looks poisonous. Mm -hmm. This What's one's this? like I feel like my heart's racing for some reason, but this one. I don't know what it is, it's just a bunch of holes. Mm -hmm. And then they're colored. Oh, oh my god, okay. What okay. Is it? I, I, okay, I just changed it. It's like a hand and it's really disgusting. No, okay, I don't want to look at that. This this one's kind of poisonous. My god, I'm actually shaking, holy s***. I don't know. Okay, just... Oh my gosh. What okay, you guys are really trying to like scare me here. I'm, I, I, I gotta go, I'm sorry. This is what? making me uncomfortable. It was a bench. As we have seen, Different people have different reactions to the series of images presented. But why do we react like this? Is there a logical instinct behind fearing these pictures? This anecdote is representative of the Wilkins and Cole study which found that over 16% of their sample displayed a trypophobic reaction. With symptoms ranging from mild disgust to severe neurovegetative symptoms such as heart rate spikes we just saw one of our subjects experience. The study went on to evaluate different images and found that aversive reactions were specifically elicited by images that had high contrasted mid-range spatial frequencies such as this one. This is a feature very common in poisonous animals such as snakes, and it is possible that humankind evolved an instinctual fear of these visual features to avoid danger. In another study, researchers measured electrodermal activity while showing participants images of clusters of holes. While the previous study used self-reports, this one measured physiological response. It confirmed that the study did elicit varying levels of biological fear response in participants, defending this novel phobia's validity. Based on the facts and studies we presented, what do you guys think?
Should it be included as an official phobia in the next DSM? Let me know in the comments section below and thank you for listening. Whoa, that was very interesting. Make sure you like and subscribe below. Yeah, thanks for joining us this week, guys. We'll see you next time.